Yo, what is going on, everyone? It's your boy Sock here. I'm back with another week for the weekly recaps <laughs> on the story division, and I am not alone. Hey, I'm JB Westside, and I thought that was a clap sync, not a go sync. <laughs> <laughs> a little behind the scenes, whenever we uh, whenever we jump in just to sync up audio so it's easier on me and editing, uh, I do a three, two, one clap. And JB claps along on that. Uh, we definitely thought that was that. <laughs> nah, I, I only respond to people counting down. That's how you get my attention. Like, you can yell JB at me all you want. You know, you just have to count down from three and then I'll pay attention to what you have to say. Or, or a certain other word. Well, maybe. <laughs> it's cookies, by the Mudsdale. way. That's it. <laughs> anyway, um, this is the last game for the Sword Division as a full whole. It's our finals. It's the overall semifinals. This is top four. four. Wolfie Glick versus Vivid. Craziness. Yeah, this is definitely a very wild game between two very deserving trainers. And before we get into the game itself, let me just... Let me just say, I feel Wolfie on a spiritual level about the dorm room and popcorn things. Like, the hatred on that is just... Listen... It happened to me as frequently in one of my semesters in college, but it happened three or four times where in the middle of the night, you just get woke up by some idiot who doesn't know how to cook popcorn. It's so frustrating. If, if, you, if you're that guy, just don't buy popcorn. Just just stop with popcorn. Popcorn's not even good. It gets stuck in your teeth. Like, don't. The only place popcorn should even exist is in movie theaters. I right? just, just don't. Don't take popcorn into your college. It should be banned on all college campuses. In France. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I definitely did not have that issue myself. I lived in an apartment for my uh, semesters in college. I didn't have that issue. Uh, no. Hashtag feels good, man. Can't all be but um, wow. Okay. Anyway, let's. Um, I think that's enough ranting. Um, other housekeeping stuff. Be sure to go follow the Pokemon WBE Twitter as this winds down. We want to make sure you guys keep up to date with what's going on in the WBE because I'm trying to get a few things together. We might have another video or two or something cool coming out soon. So be in check and for that. And also be sure to follow it for, like, in the future, you'll be able to get all the information on uh, Season 4 coming up at some point uh, in the near future once Sword and Shield is released. <laughs> Absolutely. And all that Sword and plugs. Shield news. Uh, be yep. sure to go check out the Onad shop down below. You can grab a... Uh, Shirt with your favorite coach's logo or just the WBE logo itself. Be sure to go grab one of those as well if you so desire. JB, with so many plugs, you'd think he needs an outlet. I, I probably do. I mean, my phone's charging right over here, so I'm good. I don't even have a phone charger in my entire, like, recording room. You crazy. I have yeah. one phone charger in here, and then I have one phone charger in my room, and I have one at work. I just have one by my bed, and that's the only one I have. You crazy. Yeah, probably. Let us know in the comment section down below how many charges you guys have for your phone. This is important. This is this is, this is an important question. Yep. Anyway, it's almost as important as the game. So let's just actually jump into it, as a Philip DeFranco says. Yep. We have the finals for our division, the semifinals overall. The Milwaukee Bears coached by Wolf Lake versus the South Texas State Bus coached by In Vivid Color. Yeah. Vivid brought a team of Polyrath, Neuvern, Needlecane, Mega Agron, Tapabulu, and Mew. And Wolfie brought a team of Excadrill, Mega Blastoise, Tornadus T, Gigalith, Weezing, and Duosion. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yep. Right off the um, bat, Z, yeah. Hoodshop, Gigalith was a fantastic bring. Um, you being one of the biggest threats. Wolfie, you know, having a way to just eliminate that was a uh, really cool, smart uh, mm -hmm. bring. Uh, the Mega Blastoise, as always, with Wolfie is clean, so he always. Finds ways to just do cool things with Mega Blastoise, which is wild. Like, as much leagues as I've done, I've never seen Mega Blastoise put in this much work, and it's really impressive. Mm hmm. Um, honestly, Darkenium Z Gigalith was the best tech all game, and it was the star of the show. Mm hmm. Um, I, I think that kind of put the entire um, game on a silver platter and kind of describes it. Um, Wolfie just bringing weird and odd prep that worked against Vivid's good prep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, Torn was super good this game, and it had Noivern on its heels really early on, and I thought that was really really cool. Uh, and backpacking off of that, uh, some some of the prep on Vivid side was really good as well. I thought the Polyrath was like almost sort of necessary to help shut down Blastoise. Toxic Protect is always very annoying. Vacuum Wave uh, is smart to get extra chip on Excadrill. 
Uh, relying on Subsea Bulu is cool, but I felt like Offensive Bulu had a fantastic matchup this game. You know, Subsea mm -hmm. is great, but, you know, it's the set he's brought primarily this season, so it seemed a little bit predictable. And Vivid mentioned this in his video, but I just have to give Ultra Player a little bit of a... A little bit of a talking to about that Mew set. Uh, Scald, Volt, Switch, Taunt, Roost. Like, that's disgusting. Uh, Josh is a homie, so... Yeah, just that's just a, that's a gross set, man. Like, God. It's a cool set. Really cool set, but... Really? My God. Cool <laughs> uh, as someone who talks to Ultra Player, like, daily about Don Pokemon things, the man's kind of nuts. <laughs> but oh, we'll, we'll leave his, uh, his choice in people uh, differently. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. His waifu selection is meh at best. I said it. He can fight me. But. <laughs> <laughs> um, as happened. you can tell, we have a lot of fun here. We have a lot yeah. of fun. Yep. Um, I feel like Wolfie, uh, playing a balanced style with his team, really ended up working a lot. Um, kind of going against Vivid's balance, I think it was the best for him to bring balance as well. Because uh, if he brought defensive, I think Neo King put in way too much work. And if he went fully um, offensive, I think Mega Aggron plus Tapu Bulu had a really good chance of kind of stalling him out of it. Mm -hmm. So I feel like Wolf's team comp was really good uh, this week. Give that look. Uh, 100%. I thought uh, Wolf did a very good job to play around the Noivo and Flinch on Torn. Uh, he played around that really well, using it as a pivot to region health on both Torn and Duosion. Uh, so I thought that was a really solid uh, play from Wolfie. Uh, and also getting Weezing in on the Polyrath uh, for Deck Blade game was an amazing play. It allowed to get uh, T-Spike up, which helped nul uh, nullify the tub of Bulu's terrain recovery, which ultimately uh, uh, sealed it after the Sludge Bomb poison as well. So uh, Wolfie just making some amazing plays on the stretch. Just like, uh, yeah, just as typical Wolfie fashion. Mm -hmm. um, on Vivid's side, he noticed pretty early on that Rocks this game would have made this game such a different scenario. Um, yeah. Ditching Roar on Mega Aggron for Stealth Rocks would have been huge in this game, stopping Tornadus from getting so much Regenerator back and mm -hmm. chipping we uh, the uh, Weezing as it would come in constantly. And the same with the Duosion. I feel like Rocks put this game more in Vivid's favor. Yeah, I feel like that's something that's happened quite a lot with Wolfie this season where players either haven't really um you know prioritized getting up hazards against him or he's done just an incredible job of making sure they don't go up so uh, he he's definitely very adept at dealing with hazards either way so you know it's one of those things mm -hmm. uh vivid did put a lot of plays on to try to get him back in the game and mm -hmm. polyrath honestly made some of those almost turn into like this could be a comeback with just polyrath but yep. losing mega Aggron was huge and it kind of made vivid's entire plan just go to whack yeah, a little bit. Uh, one thing that I will say is questionable was blowing the uh, Z move turn one on um, Noiver, uh, with Noivern on Tornado Steve. When you see it's AV, obviously, with Frisk. I thought that was a little bit questionable. Uh, maybe he didn't, you know, see it as a necessary uh, tool for him to have that game. But, you know, uh, it's one of those hindsight things where it maybe not, what, maybe wasn't the best idea. Mm -hmm. In hindsight. Um Wolf just put a lot of pressure on this game, and getting rid of Mega Aggron was such a key. Um, I, I really can't think of anything else that really like stood out this game and like changed everything than Mega Aggron going down. Yeah, that Mega Aggron is one of the most annoying Pokemon just to f prep for in general because it's just so hard to kill, especially if you uh, play around it well with like uh, a rest set or uh, having a good Wish Passer, but or even passive recovery with Blue or something. But yeah, Mega Aggron is just an incredibly annoying Pokemon, and yeah, it's. Uh, that one going down really opened the door a lot for Wolfie. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, one of the things I do want to point out though is, uh, Vivid said it in his, Nido King had such a huge chance to do work. I think if he brought webs this game, um, the only thing that really wants to switch in is to solve this torrent T, and that is not loving to take two sludge waves. Yeah, or ice streams or even yeah, it's just like. Uh, yeah, definitely would have put a lot of pressure on the team. You see, Needle King actually, you know, it did end up putting in a lot of work. It picked up two kills this game, so maybe just that little bit of oomph from uh, Webs could have been what pushed it over the top for Vivid. Yeah. Um, overall, I, I did like Vivid's team. Um, as JB said before, the type of Bulu could have been, I think a Bandit set would have been a little bit better personally. Um, yeah. But or just hindsight's maybe 20, just 20. offensive for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's definitely a hindsight thing, but. Uh, I thought Wolfie, once again, just did a phenomenal job of knowing his fun cut early on. He spent the entire game getting the chip he needed for Exegel and was able to, you know, pull it out in the end. So, it wasn't Exegel that actually ended up winning in the game in the end, uh, getting the final kill. I believe it was Blastoise or Torn. Yes. I, don't, I don't remember which one it was Blastoise. Yeah, uh, yeah, I just feel like uh, he did a phenomenal job of just s you, like, knowing his win con the entire game and just setting it up perfectly for Exegel, which, you know, mm -hmm. is what it is. 
yeah, uh, Wolfie just played his win con super, super well this week, and it really showed. Um, both of these players are absolute uh, beasts in the format, and both of them do deserve to be here. And this, it was a very good game, but Wolf just knew his win con, and Vivid's team really wasn't the best it could be. So it put him at a disadvantage early, and Wolf just kind of snowballed. Mm -hmm. It was all about getting the right amount of chip, and once he got that, uh, once he got what he needed, the, uh, the switch just flipped, and Wolfie went into uh, like just win now mode, and that's basically what happened. Yeah, he, he pulled a Joey, because how many times have we said it this season? It's a classic Joey appearance. Playing, getting chip until he sees the moment, flips the switch, and just goes. Uh, Wolfie put that to perfection this week. Absolutely. Also, Beware is just a goat, so good mascot. <laughs> yeah. Debatable. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... that error, though? I don't, I don't, we don't, we're not going to talk about that, okay? <laughs> we're not going to talk about that or that Cursed Fire Ghost-type Pokemon. <laughs> we're not going to talk about that, okay, JB? Eh, that's fair. That's <laughs> anyway, uh, inside jokes aside here, um, c huge congratulations to Wolfie. He will be playing for the Sword Division for all other 13 coaches in this side. For JB and my um, side, for everything on the Sword Division. He will be putting it up for that belt for the three P to become Mostly the that WP. belt though. That belt is kinda clean. That belt is kinda clean. <laughs> but um uh, he either plays MV or Gator, and you guys will see who won that game in the other recap here. So be sure to check that out there. Absolutely. And with that, be sure to keep up with all the other WP contact. Uh, if you do like what we're doing here on the Endless Channel, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell. Uh, ringing the bell lets you know exactly when we post, uh, because the YouTube algorithm is such perfect and great, and nothing is wrong with it ever. It works to perfection. I don't know what you're exactly. talking about. Exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm praising it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, be sure to stay up to date with us, guys, because you never know. Next season, we could probably need some more analysts. So you never sure. know when we're going to need them. know. But yeah, with that, I think we're going to get on out of here today, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in for this episode and for the entire season. And JB, one more time. Hashtag disable lad block. And with that, we're going to get on out of here today, guys. Peace out, scouts. Peace.